Focus Group this morning with another video, and today I am back with the Griefing Master. Yeah, I found another new tool to invite me to his plot. As you can see, he has let me into his plot. I did not know this guy at all, and I am assembling my arsenal right here. Got my two buckets ready to go. And he invited two people. He, he um, asked if anyone would want to help him build a club. So I, I volunteered, and he, if you can't see, well, he added me. So I am going to help him, and once it's basically built, I am going to destroy it. Unfixable. Like I said like a hundred times in the last... Griefing Master. Unfixable! Yeah, that's what I'm going to be basically doing every Griefing Master. I'm always griefing people on the same servers, Jay and Harry, because the, the servers like to you know? So... Basically, I do Griefing Master to teach people a lesson. Um, don't, never trust anyone. Like, if someone could say I'm part of a hunter plot, and then they can just, and then, um, you'll invite them, and they'll destroy you, whatever. If you're in a faction, they'll say, um, PC to me, and I'll invite you to my faction, give you all god items, and they'll kill you. You know what I mean? So, basically, y you shouldn't trust anyone on Minecraft, because Minecraft you know, 75% of the people are traitors, you know what I mean? And I'm not one of those people that are that are traitors. It may seem like I am in these episodes, but I'm not. I'm just trying to teach people a lesson. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing in this series, I'll call it. Give me some suggestions on what server I should greet people on. Like, I'm just doing it on Jerry and Harry, because this server is like the best. But... And well, I can also do like on um, whatever, like Uber Minecraft, you know, whatever server you want. Probably not Uber uh, Minecraft because you, you get bandages from when you're like there on top of like you get that. But you know, just a random server. DM in the comments, and I'll possibly I'll go there and try and make another Griefing Master. So yeah, just basically finishing this crap club. I don't know what kind of club this is. Yeah, you're just starting it, but it's a bad start. Hi. Um. Yeah. So basically, um, what were we at? Two thirty-seven. All right. So we're going to basically make the top of this. Um, whoa! He invited a lot of people. Yeah. So we're gonna make the top of this, and then we are going to. Well, I. They, no one knows about this feature. He announced it, and then like four people came, as you can see, to help him build the club. So they don't know that I'm gonna grief this place. So. Unless they know me from YouTube, which I highly doubt it. I am 99.9% .9 sure they do not know me on YouTube. Um, they, yeah, they, I would say they, I'm almost 100% sure that they know I'm not going to grief this. So I look like I'm doing something, you know, normal. I'm just doing it, and then I'm going to destroy it. I can't destroy it yet, though, because it would be, it would be so easy to, uh, fix. I once did a griefing master just, you know, practice, like, don't think I'm just doing this live and, like, i never done this before, I'm just winging it. No, I've actually, I did some when, like, this had the blue air, but, uh, I'll do griefing just as the blue to, you know, just, whoa. Yeah, I'm playing on a PC, so, I usually play, most of my episodes I play on a Mac, but I'm playing on a PC today. You know, just whatever, whatever, just gonna leave it that, you know, just uh, have the music sitting like wild when I get a little loud, you know. Anyways, I do griefings, like, when I don't record them. I could record them, so you have a lot of episodes, but whatever. So, what's this dude here that's inviting me? He's actually making it look pretty good. Tebby, so I'm going to message Tebby, have any heads? So I like to get free heads, you know, like, I'm that kind of person, if you have, I can, I collect heads, I'm a head whore, I like to, I'm going to try and make a head shop, or like a guessing game, and if you win, um, you know, you'll get some heads, you know, whatever, I want to do that, I'm making one right now, and I'm going to show you my plot here, when I am done with, once I am grief, done griefing this place, he probably doesn't know this man to ban me. Uh, his plot. So I'm probably
probably going um, as far as I'm probably going to be able to do things and I won't be doing anything about it. Alright, I think it is time for you. I'm going to... I would like to give them a little warning. And then I will see how it goes. And then once you respond, yeah. I'll just say like, for what it's day is. And then I'll just like, tell them that they can anything. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Let's do this. I'm not talking much because I'm concentrating on doing this tree. Oh crap, he does know the command. Wait, what the hell? Oh wow, he deleted the whole thing. He cleared his plot. Are you serious? Wow. Wow. Alright, that's another episode of the Greasing Master. Um, I will definitely be coming out with another. Come on. What? Um. Oh my god. Did you see that? It like said plot me like a hundred times. I was like, did I lose my plot? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, I will show you. I will now. Oh, wait. I will now show you my plot. It's in my opinion, one of the best on this server. You'd be like, no way, he's just a nice whatever. I'm going to show you everything I have right here. I want to play against 601. He was the first skin for the contest machine I ever had. This is the first one I made. I know, it's, it's kind of noobish. Only, uh, how many? Wait. Yeah, only eight spots. So, kind of noobish, whatever. I have the uh, rules right here. And then I have, like, follow the wall. And it's, like, the Pyramid Hall of Fame with all the people. Then, I decided to make a killing machine. Right here. I'll just make this a little lower. Alright, there we go. Alright, then I made a killing machine. I said maze to trick them. And then once they step on this pressure plate, they'd fall out. And that's the end of the world, so they lose, like, all their items in their inventory. So imagine if they had like 64 heads, they would lose all of those heads. Oh my god, that would be crazy. Um, I never thought of it that way, because hearts are, you know, they're not easy to get, there's not many, there's not many heads up. Then I have a dating thing, boys, girls, you boys go here, girls here. You probably know this, it's like a dating thing. I don't have any of those strict things, codes like bed equals sex, um, flower means the best friend. You know, I don't do anything like that. So, like, lots of people do that on this, uh, uh, server, but I don't like to do that, because then you actually have to go into your inventory and grab whatever you, you have to grab whatever you need to, um, get, and you have to wear boots, and it's just a pain in the ass. So, I just like to, uh, have books and quills and just talk, basically. Haven't used that in a while, but I might use it. As you know, my skin, right here, a little design, I don't know. I made this before Clay came out, so don't. Don't even tell me you should have used clay. And now you're wondering, Blake, you're trying to think back. Blake, why'd you say your first skin con contest? Well, guys, I have a bigger one. Oh, yeah. You weren't expecting this, were you? Oh, yeah. I, this one, made by myself, no help. Made this in two days. I'd say I made this in about... Three, uh, two to three hours. Took a while. I finally made it. This has 22 freaking spots. 22 spots. This has 22 spots. This, this skin contest is crazy. You have to admit, this skin con contest is pretty crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that's pretty crazy. And how I designed the skin contest was bottom nether, and then as this one goes, it's getting higher in the world. As you can see, then I just add random clay, going up to heaven. Pretty cool, right? Um, yeah, I like.
like to brag about that a lot. I try to do contests like these, but just not many people come when they do. Like, four people come to the contest, and I'll just release them, you know? I'll just be like, you know what? Release, you know, I'll break the piston, and you'll just leave because, you know, not enough people are coming. Not many people do spin contests anymore. Now I have um, this up here. We're coming to the end of my uh, amazing plot. So I don't mean to brag anyway about this plot, but it's probably in the top 100. No, probably the top 200 best plots. And I said, if you're a boss, if you're a two boss, you can land in the water below. It's a one block water. Let's see if I can do it. Dang it. That's hard, see, because you have to get through that, that one block hole, and then go to the left and land in that, and if you land in that, like right here, because you made a put the diamond, put a diamond in the hopper, and then I have a bunch of hoppers all the way over here to the top. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So, that's basically my whole plot. I basically showed you everything. And, oh, I still have one more thing to show you. Remember how I was talking about I'm a head whore and I, I'm headhunting and I'm hoarding all those heads? Well, yeah, remember I was talking about that guessing game where if you uh, won the guessing game, you get free heads? Yeah, see all these heads? I'm trying to find head, head shots like crazy. I have ba six basher heads, exploding TNT, Sumu, uh, question block, um, AS RPMX, ASF, Chumby. You know, I'm getting all these, and this is where I'm going to be building my guessing game. Yeah, I just started building it recently, so you see it isn't much, but whatever. I'm going to um, expand this and make this better. So, this is basically it, and I want to get into that TPU to do the, the headshot. So later, y'all, y'all hold me Blake, out.